Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I'm a calligrapher in the Bay Area. Today I want to show you just a quick glimpse of how my day would be like. I like to start with the workout. I am doing Ring Fit Adventure, which is a game and workout combined. So you get the fun and also get to move your body a bit, so that's nice. And this yawning little furball is Ollie, he's my little pup. And he likes to just chill while I do my workout. So after I've done my workout, I usually feel energized and that's when I like to do some cleanup around the house. So put away all the dishes, vacuum, laundry, all that jazz. So I am from Indonesia and my favorite food is bakso, which is an Indonesian version of pho. And they don't have bakso here, so I'm making my own broth. This is uh, made of beef bones, onions, shallots, garlic, salt, sugar, and I let it simmer for days and it tastes so good. And I'm a soupy person, so I always drink the soup when I eat. And I always make a big batch of this, so I would freeze like bags at a time, so I always have it on hand. And this little fluff is Ollie, and he is a 10-year-old cockapoo. He's been with me since he was a puppy, and he's such a good companion. He loves belly rubs, cuddles, and he snores pretty loudly. <laughs> He is such a cutie, he's popular with the girls, but there's this one time we're walking outside and there's this big dude on his bike and he squealed like a little girl when he saw Ollie. He was like, oh my god, what a cute puppy. It was so funny to see such a big dude squeal like that. After breakfast and shower, I get started on my projects. Um, today I'm wearing this bright yellow cardigan because it was such a dreary day and I feel like I need some brightness. So there it is, yellow cardigan. Uh, today I'm working on some champagne bottles engraving. Uh, this is for a client and I usually start with a sketch on the glass and once I'm satisfied with the design, I get started on engraving. So I want to show you this process in real time because it is such a slow process. You want to be really careful when engraving because you, once you make a mistake, it's really hard to fix it because you're literally scratching the surface of the glass. So you want to be very precise and controlled. You want to go very slow and very focused. All right, let's speed it up a bit because we ain't got all day. Uh, this is eight times speed. As you can see, it's quite a tedious process. Um, and you might be wondering why I have that roll of burlap there next to my arm. And that is to help support my arm and also keeps the consistent distance between my arm and the pillow. So it acts as a nice cushy support. And here I just switched the tip to a new one because the previous one was getting a little dull. It was not as smooth as I wanted it to be. So the new one is so much better. All right, now for the most satisfying part, the filling in, I use a gold rubbing buff on a Q-tip and rub it quickly on the engraving and then rub the excess paint very quickly because you don't want to stain the glass. It is a very finicky process. I actually don't really like doing this, but it just looks very pretty. Um, I feel like I don't rub the excess enough or like quickly enough, so I always leave a little bit of stain there. But I found this uh, paint marker remover that works really well. I'm gonna link the product down below if you wanna check it out. All right, this is all six engraved and filled in bottles. It took me quite a while to get all of them, but I'm so happy I got them done. They look so pretty and cute. So next I'm going to take some photos of them. All right, welcome to my office. This is the next day, hence the costume change. And I'm setting up the photo shoot next to a window. And if you're wondering why I have that tripod and the camera there, that is a setup for when I'm filming a class or a YouTube video. 
so yeah it's always there I just don't bother to take them down because it's quite a bit of time to set them up like that yep so this is me channeling my inner photographer um, I'm new to photography and I'm using my husband's camera for this um, yeah this is such a good learning experience I get to uh, learn about how to use the camera properly, work with the lighting and everything, all that. And here is a close-up of all the engraved bottles. These are some photos from the shoot. What do you think? So this is my first time doing a vlog like this and if you enjoy watching this type of videos, uh, please give it a like and comment down below which one is your favorite part so I know what to do more of for the next one. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my other work, check out Everlace Design Co. on Instagram and check out my website if you want to see some calligraphy classes and kits that you can take. Alright, thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.